a few months ago, Turtle Wax sent this ceramic and graphene paste wax, which I decided to put to test on this Clio here behind me. So we actually prepared the car in a couple of different ways to see how the wax lasted on this car. So for half of the bonnet and the passenger front wing, what I did was clayed and polished that side and then used a panel wipe for applying the wax. And then on the rest of the car, I just washed it using the Garage Therapy Decon shampoo to strip it of any oil protection and then use that panel wipe as well. And I made an application and initial impressions video of the product. Now fast forward a few months later and I want to show you how the wax is performing at this point. Now this car has been washed monthly since that initial application using either a mildly alkaline citrus pre-wash or snow foam and then a pH neutral pure car shampoo and I actually used the Turtle Wax Pure Shampoo to do this. So let's jump into the clips and see how I got on with the product. So first of all, for a little bit of context, I'm showing the water behaviour when the wax was initially applied to this car. And you can see here that it does look very, very strong. The water is beading very nicely and also sheeting very quickly when a low pressure rinse is used. So after the first wash, which was a month later, you can see that the water behaviour has taken a little bit of a hit, but he's still performing generally pretty well. As we head into month two here, so the second wash, you can see that again the water behaviour has taken a hit. It's still performing very well on the flatter panels, but on the vertical panels that tend to get hit a bit more with the traffic film, there is definitely some more degradation to that water behaviour and the wax doesn't seem to be performing quite as well at this point. And here at month three, you can see what the car looked like before the wash. Now this colour is incredibly good at hiding traffic film, but there is quite a decent layer of dirt on this car at this point. And you can see the wash behaviour here when the car is rinsed, but before being washed properly. On the horizontal panels, again, you can see that the wash behaviour is doing much better in comparison to the vertical lower sections of the car that are more hit with that traffic film. And here are the shots of the car after it's been washed. Now you can see again the more horizontal sections like the bonnet are doing pretty well at this point but not really outstanding. But what's interesting is the vertical panels on the rear of the car and on the sides that have been battered with traffic film a bit more are totally dead at this point and really aren't showing any water behaviour. Now I do think that this difference is quite interesting and it does highlight the fact that there are so many different variables when it comes to durability testing. I do think tests like this are a lot more informative than chemical resistance tests. However, just because it's lasted this long on this car doesn't mean it'll last the same on your vehicle. There are plenty of variables like the frequency of washing, the chemicals used, the amount and type of traffic film that's on the car and how long it's been left to sit on there. For context as well, this car is stored outside, so the wax isn't going to do nearly as well as it would on a garaged vehicle. And here you can see a comparison of the panels that were decontaminated and polished, and the ones that were just cleaned and panel wiped. And there is definitely a little bit more water behaviour going on on the polished side, but not a huge, huge difference. And in my opinion, probably not enough to justify polishing specifically to apply this product if the paintwork didn't really need it for correction purposes. So I was hoping for around four to five months of good water behaviour before the product tailed off, considering that the max durability claim for this product is 12 months. Now, of course, this is actually an American product, so the climate here is very different to over there. And of course, it really depends on what part of America you're actually in as well. And maybe for a garaged vehicle that isn't driven that frequently, 12 months might be doable. But for a car that's stood outside and driven frequently in the UK, I just don't think that 12 months is going to be anywhere near realistic for this product. 
I think this product does excel in terms of initial water behaviour and it's an incredibly easy wax to use so using it every couple of months probably isn't an issue but would I stick this on a daily driver that I wasn't going to see for six months and wasn't going to get washed in that time? No I wouldn't because I don't think it tends to cope as well with the traffic film that sits on there. If you're looking for a little bit more info on the application and my first impressions of the products then I will pop a link to my initial video on screen now so you can check that out. Thanks very much for watching.